Hey, what's up? This is Donnie. Um, right now, I got eight, I got four cables going. Um, one of them is heads up, three or six max. And right as the video starts, I get it in with queens to it. I have six outs, and he misses, so I ship the 10k pot. <coughs> so he sits back in. I hope he does. Usually, people are not nearly as good when they sit back in right after a hand that they lost. Um, yeah, basically uh, on that hand I re-raised him proof up with queens. He called a jack-8 off, which is pretty brutal. And then, once he gets that flop though, he pretty much has to stick it in because I want to be continuation betting with enough hands that that will basically fold when he when he shoves or sometimes I'll have something like ace-10. And even if I have ace-10, he's not in bad shape. He has eight outs for the straight and three outs for the for jack, so he has, it's an 11 outer, which is Pretty, pretty. Hard. I mean, it's definitely a good, a good number of outs to semi bluff with. So it's not a big deal. And um, basically, I just sat down on all three of these tables, the six max ones. So hopefully, uh, again, some some good spots, some interesting hands to discuss. All right, right here, I just flat called with the ace ten. A lot of people would 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 prefer a re raise there pre flop because you know it's ace ten, it's heads up. Um, it's way ahead of his raising range. But, but the way I think about this is, against him, somebody was shown that he can that he can call three beds really light. Maybe I should be three betting ace ten, but quite often a hand like ace ten, I won't three bed very often. I mean, I will sometimes, but not as often as a hand like um, ace jack, for example. It's just because I feel like ace ten is way at the bottom of my perceived value re raising range, and by that I mean. People would expect me to always re-raise something like Ace Jack, or not always, but quite often re-raise Ace Jack. And then, because of that, I feel like when I f you don't really ever want to have a hand that you're raising for value, but people will expect you to have, uh, you know, an even better hand. So it's, I'm basically old, I hate using this word. But I'm basically over representing a hand that it's almost it's like it's too it's too strong to uh, re-raise, but also at the same time not strong enough to re-raise. That probably doesn't make any sense, and I sound like a, I'm rambling. If it doesn't make sense what I just said, just post in the form and ask me to clarify that point, because I think it's a pretty important thing to do. It's just for the same, it's the same logic as you'll see me sometimes advocate, like if, if under the gun, or even the six-max game, if under the gun raises and you're next act with jacks, usually I'll just say call. 